everyone, today I'll be going through some examples for two unit mathematics for the trapezoidal and Simpson's rule. Okay, so firstly, you have the formula for the trapezoidal rule, which is h over 2, bracket, fa, which is our, uh, f our limit number 2, fb, uh, the one on the top, and then 2 times the middle. And then the formula for the Simpson's rule, which is h over 3, fa plus fb plus 4 even plus 2 odd. Now, I strongly advise that if you don't already know these terms, like the the um, a and b part of integrals, so if, if I drew an integral here, and this was my b and this was my a, this is just something you need to know. If you don't know it, then I, I suggest you revisit the integrals topic. But anyways, let's go on. Okay, so there's another thing that you need to know, and that's h equals b minus a over n. So b and a being the limits and n being the number of subintervals. So I'll just annotate that here. Okay, so we've got this first question, which says, consider the table of values for the function y equals fx. Now, you've got all these, and it goes, use the Simpsons rule to approximate the value of f5, 1, f to the x, dx. Okay, well, in the Simpsons rule, what you actually need to do is that it goes something like this. So you need to remember the formula first off. So the formula is h over 3. Now, a good way to remember this, this h over 3 bit. So I think about the Simpsons family. How many children do they have? They have three children, therefore it's h over 3. Then you have f a plus f b. It's just saying function of a, function of b. So, yep, uh, plus 4 even, plus 2 odd. Okay. So in this table, we have these x values, and they've already given us the fx. And now we know that it's f to the, f the limits 5 and 1 for fx. So, okay, that's a pretty simple formula. Let's see how we go with this. So you have f5, 1, fx. And then you already know most of the stuff here. So let's figure out h first. So h equals b minus a over n. And let's draw this out. So you've got just suppose you have something like this, and suppose this is 5, and this is 1, and then you've got 2, 3, 4, so you must fit them in, so you just got 2, 3, and 4. Your sub-intervals are these, so that's one sub-interval, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4. That's four sub-intervals right there, so you just do b minus a over n, that is 5 minus 1 over 4, so you get 4 over 4, which is just 1. So you know that this h is now going to be 1. So now, we'll do something like this. 1 over 3, f a, so the function of a, which is 1.2. So 1.2 plus f b, which is the function of b, which is 5, which is 9.5. Plus 4 even, 2 odd. So let's have a look here. 4 even. 4 times the even numbers, so 2 is even, and 4 is even. So let's just do that. 4 times 3.4 plus 7.8 plus 2 odd. And our odd numbers are just simply uh, 3. So let's get 2 times 5.6. Okay. Cool. So we've used everything. We've used the A, we've used the B. We end up using these two for our even numbers and three for our odd number. So now if we plug this into the calculator, believe it or not, we should get it. So A is approximately equal to, let's plug it into my calculator, 1 over 3, 1.2 plus 9.5 plus 4. Hopefully I haven't done anything wrong with the brackets, but it should be fine. Plus 7.8. And plus 2 to 5.6. And I get something like, in decimal form, 22.23. And I always write units squared. Now, this is decimal form, but in the test, I, I, I advise you to use fractions. So it's, it's left in exact form. You will be allowed. So for this, the fraction would be something like 667 point, uh, no, just over 30. That's the fraction, so you can also do that. And this, this curvy equals means approximately equal to. You can even do something like that, which is the same thing. Okay. 
Okay, now moving on, I've actually skipped the question before, which was asking for this one. You can do this on your own time, because there is a question that I want to go through, which doesn't actually have the same format, and you're most likely to get it into a test as well. So in this question, it's asking for the trapezoidal rule, so I will be going through the trapezoidal rule. And if we can remember the trapezoidal rule is the formula H over 2, bracket F A, plus F B, plus 2 middle. So that's how I remember my formulas. You can do it in whatever way you want to. But now I'll actually show you how to do it without a table given to you. So you'll, you're given the limits 1 and 0. And you've got this little uh, thing here. So it's x to the square root of 3x plus 8 to the dx. Now, don't really get put off by this. All you need to do is you need to sub stuff in. And I'll show you how to do it anyways. So, okay, it says 5 sub-intervals. The first thing that I'll do in this question is probably just draw out a little line thing, and I'd say that this is 0, and this is 1. I'm going to need to have 5 sub-intervals. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. In between these sub-intervals, there's going to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So altogether, I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So it must be going up. If you divide 1 by 5, it's, got, it's, it's um you know, 1 over 5, so it's going up by 0 0.2. So this is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.8. Now that gives you your or your ordinates. So this is, you know, ordinate 1, ordinate 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we need to use FA, FB, 2 middle. No worries. What we'll do here is we'll just use this. We don't even need a table. And all we have to do, really, is just do the formula again. So h over 2, remember h equals b minus a over n. So our number of subintervals is 5, and you've got b minus a, which is 1 minus 0 over 5. So, in fact, it's just 1 over 5. And that's what we found here, anyways, to find out the difference in between each ordinate. Okay, cool. So now we can just do this, just sub it all in. So you've got... 1 over 5, so this is 0 0.2 over um, 2. We actually need to do the uh, FA, FB, all that. So if you have a look, we need to sub in everything into this equation here. This one here. And what we're going to do is that this is our A, this is our B. That's A, that's B. So let's do that now. So if you get FA into that equation, so if you just chuck it into the calculator, 0, then you have square root of... Uh, 3 times 0 <laughs> plus 8, you end up getting 0, obviously. And what you'll do here is you'll just enter over here, you say 0 plus. Now we'll do FB, which is 1. Uh, yep, so we'll do that now and see what we get. So we get inside of the 3 times 1, and in front of it you get the 1. So you get 3.3166, whatever. So if you want, you don't actually have to write that. You can just write it in the actual form in the equation. So I'll just do that. 1 square root of 3 times 1 and plus 8. And then now we have to do the same for the 2 times the middle. Now the middle is going to be pretty long. You've got 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So I'll just sum them all into the equation. I'm not really going to bother with anything else. So I'll just do that right now. I'll have brackets in front of each one, so 0 0.2, and then you have 3, 0 0.2, plus 8. Same goes for the next ones. So 0 0.4, um, whoops, square root of 3, 0 0.4, plus 8, um, and you get plus 0 0.6. 3, 0 0.6, plus 8, and then once again, 0 0.8, which is the last one, 0 0.8, 3, 0 0.8, um, plus 8, so that's it, and we'll try and just plug this into the calculator, it might take me a while, but I'll just skip it inside the video. So doing all the formulas and everything, you end up getting something like... After plugging all of this into the calculator, it's something like 1.58, oops, sorry about that, 1.5832, 
Uh, six. One to six. Okay. No worries. And that's that's what you end up getting. And hence you can write it's unit squared, by the way. You can write that area is approximately equal to one point five eight three two six units squared. And what you can also do is that you can actually write the integral again, and um, and just write that it's equal to that. So suppose it's that you can write f one to zero x square root of three x plus eight dx is equal to and that 1.58 should be fine 1.58 units squared okay perfect i really do hope this helped and looking forward to making more videos